Hey, this is James Pelton, and you know that at the end of each month, I like to put the numbers, the exact numbers that I got for profit and how each of my crypto projects did. So I want to do that here for the month of October. And so let's go ahead and start with the final, okay? So I was actually, drum roll here, I was actually down about $14,000 from October to September. And we'll talk about why that is, what happened, what's low, what's up, what's down, what's all around. Let's just talk through all the things. So let's go ahead and start actually at the top and we'll kind of just see how different things did. So first we have drip and drip. I actually, I increased my holdings by about 5,000 drip, made 6,000 fewer dollars. Okay. So drip, the price has been going down quite a bit. People said, oh, when animal farms launched on October 18th, it'll help and it didn't actually launch on October 18th. And they said on October 19th, it'll help, it didn't. Then when it did finally launch here at the beginning of November, the price is still going down, okay? Again, people ask, why don't you permit, promote drip? It's your biggest money maker. Again, the reason is because I increase about 6,000 drip a month and I make less each and every month, okay? And I, may, I increase that from having so many referrals, okay? So I just, no offense, no hatred, I just don't see the price improving anytime in the near future. So if you wanna get in and then just hydrate for a year and see where it is, that's totally fine, but it's not where I personally would direct people to go. There's Drip Garden did increase, so it was actually my second biggest money maker of the month. Hoard, I, again, I put those in yellow just because I'm not sure about them. And I put ones in red that are having issues, okay? So I made 50, 5,060 bucks from Hoard, they just came out, there's been some people saying, oh, they don't make enough money, they're gonna run out of money. And they did just announce that they are going to be limiting you to sell one hoard token a day, I believe is what it said. So maybe I'll have the team back on for an AMA or something like that, but I'm putting it in red for now because if I can only sell one a day, obviously these numbers are gonna be way lower going forward. And then yield nodes I also put in red. While we are still making some money, it remains to be seen if we'll have access to that money, how all that's gonna work out. I'm just putting it in red, okay? That's what I'm doing. I'll have my real estate. GS Partners has been a new interesting one. Again, they are using, they claim that they have a partnership with BD Swiss and are doing like Forex trading and things like that through that. Again, don't totally know. We can't see the trade. So it's similar to Novatech, which I'll talk about here in a minute, but I'm cautiously optimistic. There may be some Ponzi-nomics going on, but that was a big money maker for me. I had 31K in there. And actually I've increased here in the month of November, I made 3,600 in the month of October. EMP money, actually, I think in November, it's been going back on the good side of things. So maybe this number will be up for November. My Amazon store still uh, plugging away pretty much the same as it always does. Goldbridge is gonna start memberships back up in January, but with everything else falling apart, this might be one that would be good to consider getting into. Again, you kind of look at October and they cap it at 8%, but that's about what we've been hitting each month. So again, keep an eye out for January when that opens back up. Uh, Furio uh, has been one that surprised me. They've been doing really well. So I actually wanna have the team back on just to see what's up, but I made 2,100 bucks. So this is actually a top 10 money maker for me in the month of October. And then of course, Project 79, this sacrifice period did just close, but keep an eye out. It'll be open up here at the end of November. Uh, but I have 32K in there and made 2,100 bucks off of that. Another one, new one for this month was Warfi. So I only put in about 3,200 bucks. I got four snipers and an infantry guy and made 1,700 bucks for the month of October. Very good return there. That's something that might help my portfolio going forward. KD5 miners still going down, unfortunately. Novatech, I put it in yellow because there's been some videos that come out again saying, hey, Novatech's not actually doing trading and things like that. They don't show their trades. I'm not able to get the team on for an AMA. So Novatech, I'm just unsure about, but I did make 1300 bucks in the month of October. So put it in yellow. It's not red, but it is yellow. MDB, and I just put money in November into their farms. So the November numbers should be up quite a bit. For October, made 1200 bucks just off of my holdings there, just staking. This video is brought to you today by Caleb and Brown. So you guys know that one of my passions and goals for my YouTube channel is to help average people get into crypto. A lot of times it's difficult for people. You send money to the wrong address and it's gone, you get scammed, all sorts of things can go wrong. So Caleb and Brown kind of helps protect you and help you get started with crypto. You create an account, 
and then you speak with a broker and there's no fees for any of that and then they will help you do your trade so they'll help you buy bitcoin or help you buy ethereum so again great service for somebody who's not real comfortable in the crypto world but who wants to get involved they've been going for about six years they have over 21,000 customers they work in 107 different countries so it's really a place where you can easily get going in your crypto journey if you're interested in getting started again you can just go to the website and click start investing now you can schedule a call with a broker and again, no fees for any of that. The fees just start when you start trading. So hope this is helpful for you. Thanks. Vapor Notes has been kind of on a rebound a bit. And then unfortunately they had a exploit that made their, it took over their Twitter account. And I think that caused a little bit of a price depreciation, but made 1100 bucks in the month of October. Piggy Bank, I put in yellow just because, again, part of it is because I claim too much. I should have been doing a better job of half compounding, but it's I've made quite a bit less here in these last few months. Automated Capital, I put in red because they, I did make 714 bucks, but then they lost half my money. So I'm going to take the rest out of Automated Capital. So this will be a zero for the month of November, and I would not... If I were you, this is not something I would consider. Optimist, and I'm actually going to switch Optimus to a yellow, okay? So, again, Optimus been doing well for a long time. A lot of YouTubers and a lot of people have just been saying that they don't think there's actually bots being run, and there's just a lot of manipulation going on and things like that. I don't know what all is going on. Maybe I'll have DeFi Dude on for an AMA, but I'm just going to put it in yellow for now. But I did make 550 bucks and that's, I just got into Optimus. I made 550 bucks. Shiny Jackal Trading Bots made 387 bucks. So it was about a 4.3% return for the month. So again, that's not super high, but we didn't have a lot of volatility. One concern I have with the bots, which I'm going to be addressing with, with the guys, is if the markets make sharp, like sharp going up or sharp going down, will bots get stuck? I have a short bot that's been stuck and losing some money. So remains to be seen, but I do have it in green. Still really like my bots there. Stable fund. I also put them in red because it's confusing and no one knows what's going on with it. And I did keep 950 bucks in there that I'm going to roll into V. Is this V4 or V2? I don't know what it is, honestly, but yes. Stable fun, I'm putting in the red. Flux, I did get a flux node, okay? So flux, but you can get a node. So I have 40,000 flux that I put into a node and it made me 243 bucks for the month. So that'll be, a, I think, a pretty solid revenue stream going forward. And again, it's less than 1%, so it's not super high. But if you believe in the future of flux, then a flux would be a good bet. Um, a lot of this didn't change too much. My grape is becoming more and more... Uh, my grape is losing value each and every day. The last thing I wanted to mention was Free Wave. So I have them in red also. They have pause withdrawals. It's a little unsure what their future is as well. So I have 18K in there, but I did not make any profit for the month of October. So there's my final numbers. Again, I had about 1.3 million. September made 103K. October made 89K. So it was about negative 14K, but it was a 7% return on my capital. I would say that's about what I average. I think for September, it was 7.68%. So down a little bit. Oh, I should mention too, Wealth Mountain is gone and my Ethereum miner is no more as well. So I hope this is helpful for you. Again, just want to show you what is possible, what how different projects are doing. Need you guys to hit the like button and also comment what other projects I should be looking at. I know Frosted Flakes is one people keep mentioning, but yeah, comment down below. Again, comments help the algorithm as well. So just comment something. Just say hi, if nothing else. But yeah, I appreciate you guys. I know things are down, but I do feel like I'm getting in a better position all the time you're working through the rug pulls and things like that and you know lord willing one day the bull market will return and maybe every project on my list will be green and i'll be excited about everything again so uh, i am going to be looking new things to keep an eye out for in november i have a facebook drop shipping store i'm going to be setting up another facebook store but again i'm looking for some revenue streams outside of crypto i'll probably go harder into project 79 just because there is revenue there i really enjoy what i do i'm not overly concerned about the state of the market you just keep chugging away learning and moving forward so appreciate you guys hope you have a great rest of your day thanks